Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Now in this video I am going to give the solution and the review of the 12th board physics paper of the under Assam High Secondary Education Council that was conducted today that is 18th of February uh, 2019. Okay. Now overall uh, the paper was at the same level as the previous two years. However, there was a slight change in the pattern of the paper. Okay. Now overall uh, in part 1 there were 8 questions of 1 marks each and uh, in part 2 there were 10 questions of 2 marks each and there were actually total 11 questions and you have to attempt only 10 questions so there was one choice and uh, in for 3 marks there were 9 questions again out of 10 questions you were asked to solve uh, uh, 9 questions. Now for 5 marks uh, there were 5 questions and out of those uh, five questions you were asked to answer uh, any three. So they were over, overall choice but they were not internal choice unlike the previous years. Okay, And uh, few questions like uh, I guess uh, there are two questions which were uh, not from NCRT means uh, the answers were not from textbook. Uh, one question in one mark and one question in two mark. And uh, there was a slight misprint in uh, question number 3E. Uh, that uh, total energy expression E is equal to minus E square denominator it should be 8 pi epsilon naught R. Okay. So there was a slight uh, printing error I guess and otherwise uh, the entire paper uh, except the two questions uh, the entire paper is based on your NCRT textbook. Okay. So here goes the solution. Now for first one mark questions. The first question was what did Meissner actually observe which is known as the Meissner effect that is the expulsion of the magnetic field lines when the materials are cooled to a very, very low temperature that is called Meissner effect. So Meissner effect concept it is discussed in page number 192 in your volume 1. Okay. Then 1b a very interesting fact regarding electromagnetic waves can be seen with the help of a portable AM radio. What is it? And uh, in your NCR textbook, I did not find the answer to this question. By but the answer to this, you are supposed to write that the transverse nature of electromagnetic wave. Transverse nature of electromagnetic wave. Okay. One B, uh, a very interesting fact regarding electromagnetic waves can be seen with the help of a portable AM radio. What is it? And uh, answer to this question, I believe it is not there in your NCR. I could not find it. But uh, to this, you are supposed to write the transverse nature of electromagnetic wave. Then mention one similarity between Coulomb's force and gravitational force. That is, one similarity is the both obeys inverse square law. Force is mercy proportional to R square. Define mutual inductance of uh, one Henry that E equal to m di by dt. From that you have to derive. This is again textbook based question. Then E one E. If the radius of the first orbit is given 5.3 into 10 power minus 11 meter, what is the radius of the third orbit? Now for this you have to use a relation that uh, this is uh, 1e rn is equal to 0 0.53 angstrom into n square. Okay, this is how the radius varies. So instead of in place of n you need to write 3 for third orbit. Uh, if the work function of uh, two metals x and y is 4.17 electron volt and 8.24 10 power minus 19 joule then for which metal lesser amount of energy will be required. Okay. Now greater the work function, greater the amount of energy will be required. So 8.24 10 power minus 19 joule, you have to convert this into electron volt or you have to convert 4.17 uh, into uh, joule. You have to convert that those quantities into same unit so that you can compare. So it is the material Y which will require more energy because its work function is greater. Arrange the following communication methods, modes, in descending order on the basis of their operating frequency. Okay, for this uh, the answer is given in uh, page number 590. The order is satellite communication, uh, cellular communication, sky waves, and then AM radio communication. Okay, then uh, last question of one mark: uh, the sparkle of a diamond can be explained by which phenomenon? It is total internal reflection. Then coming to the two marks question. Uh, the first question what is the period of oscillation and mentioned the 
nature of oxidation. So this is given in page number 178. This deduction is given in page number 178, volume 1. Okay. You know that uh, Ampere circuit law is based. Uh, then uh, 2B is based on Maxwell equation that is from electromagnetic waves. So the general form is uh, you have to write D dot DL is equal to V naught IC plus V naught epsilon naught D phi T by DT. So this is the additional term and uh, this epsilon naught D phi by DT is called the displacement current. Okay. And then you have the 2C explaining brief infrared waves are sometimes referred to as heat waves. This is this was asked previously also in board examination. So answer to the, this question is given in uh, page number 282 volume 1. Okay. Under what conditions Doppler effect is called red shift and blue shift. So this is given in page number 358 volume 2. Then you have to draw a diagram for lateral shift. The diagram is given in page number 317 in your volume 2. So this is one for 1F. One sorry. For 2F, uh, define one uh, coulomb that is given in page number 11, volume 1. Okay. Then, at what distance uh, two point charges are placed at distance r apart, the force is F. At what distance will these charges experience the same force in a medium of dielectric constant K? Okay. So, uh, this is uh, F is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught, Q1, Q2 by r square. Now, for same force, uh, with, uh, in dielectric medium K, it will be uh, Q1, Q2 by R1 square. So you have to uniquely split these two because the forces are equal, and from that you, you need to get the value of R1. Okay, so this R1 it comes to be R by square root of K. So this is the correct answer. This is uh, then uh, there was a circuit based question number 2 G find the value of current flowing from A to B in the following circuit okay so this was again a simple question uh, you can easily solve it and the answer to this question is uh, 0.2 ampere okay uh, this I will post the answers see I have written I have written these answers and I will post a link so that you can download these answers uh, in a PDF format okay can check uh, the description box for that. Then explain Lenz law from principle of conservation of energy. Okay. Now again, this is a uh, NCRT based question. For that, you can see page number two one zero, volume one. Okay. Then what is modulation index? If the maximum amplitude of an amp amplitude modulated wave is ten volt and the minimum amplitude is two volt, what is the value of modulation index? Okay. Then this is again a textbook based question, question number 15.7, page 531, volume 2. The answer to this is 0 0.67. Okay. Then uh, obtain the expression for drift velocity of electron. That is again textbook based question, uh, page number 98, volume 1. Establish the relation uh, between focal length and radius of curvature. Again a textbook based question. This is uh, page number 312, volume 2. Now the coming to the three mark questions, there is an electric dipole on the xy plane, its dipole moment is given, you are asked to calculate the torque. Okay. Now again this is a textbook based question, question number 1.10 in the exercise, exercise 1.10, page 46, volume 1. Uh, then the capacity of a parallel plate capacitor is 18 picofarad. Uh, calculate the permittivity of the material and what is the material. Okay. So now uh, this further is. Uh, this capacitance in free space it is a epsilon naught by d and in medium it is k a epsilon naught by d so if i divide these two quantities i get the value of k to be equal to 6 okay this is given 108 this is given 18 okay so k is 6 and what is k k is epsilon naught by epsilon naught okay so epsilon naught is 8.85 into 10 power minus 12 okay in si system Okay. So from that you can get the value of epsilon. Okay, and uh, they will, uh, they, uh, it is asked that what is the idea to identify the material. Okay, though see it is not uh, so easy. Like how can you memorize the value of the 
permittivity of various materials, but this value uh, comes out to be the value, permittivity value comes out to be that of a mica. So the material is mica. Okay, but I don't know why they have asked this question. Uh, then C uh, 3C current carrying conduct uh, solenoid and you have to find the magnetic field again this is a textbook based question uh, to this uh, uh, the answer to this you can find that is equation 5.2 page 177 volume 1 okay then number D consider uh, that electric field amplitude is given 120 Newton per coulomb determine V naught and omega again this is a textbook based question this is question number 8.8, page 286, volume 1. Okay. Then show that the total energy of electron in an at, uh, atom is uh, this E equal to minus E square by 8 pi epsilon naught. This is again a textbook based question, equation 12.24, page 420, volume 2. Okay. Name the only gate which is used to in the following circuit, logic gate based question, question number F. Uh, it is given uh, in this is again a textbook based question, question number 14.19, page number 512, volume 2. Okay. Two long straight thin uh, conductors, force between the conductors and we are asked to define one ampere. This is again a standard question repeated time and again in many papers, okay, four papers. So again this is given in page number 154, volume 1. Okay. Then, 3H, draw a ray diagram for to show correction in myopic eye and then one numerical based on that. So the diagram is given in page number 337 volume 2 and numerical uh, it is example 9.12 page number 338. Okay, the answer to this is uh, power should be plus 2.67 diopter. What are coherent sources? Uh, 3I, what are coherent sources? Uh, and find the intensity at a point where R difference is lambda by 3. Okay. Again, this is a textbook based question. Uh, this answer you can find in question number exercise problem 10.5 page 383 volume 2. Okay. Then explain the source of uh, solar energy with the help of proton-proton cycle. So proton-proton cycle it is given in page number 456 volume 2 and uh, role of calcium rods it is used as a controlling rod or safety rod. So this is again a textbook based question uh, regarding nuclear reactors. Now coming to the four mark questions, uh, the first question was uh, the phenomenon of electromagnetic induction has been technologically important and name a device which has generated for directing current. So this is an EC generator question based on EC generator. Again this question is repeated on almost every board examination in the last 4-5 uh, years. And uh, they are asked to the, draw the diagram also, the diagram those things are given in page number 225-226 volume 1. Then uh, state culture flaw junction rule, loop rule and uh, determine the current that circuit. So again this is uh, given in example 3.6 page number 116. The answer uh, to this problem is 5 by 6 ohm. Okay. Uh, then number C again this is a textbook based question page number 525 volume 2. So then they have asked uh, then they have asked the full form of PAM, PVM, PWM, PPM. So PAM is the pulse amplitude modulation, then pulse width modulation, pulse uh, duration modulation, and pulse position modulation. PPM is pulse position modulation. PDM is pulse duration modulation. Okay. A source of EMF, uh, EM equal to is connected in a circuit, LCR circuit. So this is series LCR circuit, impedance and uh, resonant frequency. Uh, this is uh, given in page number. 248, uh, 247, 248 in your NCRT textbook, volume 1. Okay, then what is the application uh, application of resonant circuit? It is used as a tuning circuit in radio and TV. Okay, it is also given in that page. Uh, then the derivation of a substitute relation in 2 by V minus M1 by U equal to M2 minus M1 by R. This is again a textbook based question, page number 323, 325, volume 2. So as you can see, almost all questions, except for I, I guess around for two marks questions, they were not in textbook. For entire other things, 68 questions were 100% textbook based questions. So if you are thorough with your textbook, it is quite sure that you have done well in your examination. And in case there were some shortcomings in this examination, 
then uh, see, you need not worry. Uh, worry is not a solution. Then you should make out those marks lost in other subjects, in maths and biology. Do well in other subjects. Don't worry about physics. What is gone is gone. So do well in other subjects. 